screams and panic tonight on Barcelona's most famous pedestrian street. They're shooting. They're shooting. An American tourist, Jack Davey from Los Angeles, recorded as she ran for her life. We heard what sounded like gunshots, and we saw hundreds of people rushing towards us. Come on, come on, come on. They were running from a van that plowed into crowds on the street. Police responded quickly and in force, evacuating nearby buildings, shutting down the entire neighborhood. And all of a sudden, I heard a lot of, you know, noise and people screaming, so like everyone was just running away. Witnesses captured the aftermath. We blurred some of the images. They were too horrific. Bodies strewn on the sidewalk, many young. Crowds huddled around the victims, trying to assist. This newsstand was nearly knocked over during the attack, which took place along the historic Las Ramblas, very popular with tourists. The van reportedly jumped the curb and accelerated, traveled over 600 yards, and zigzagged as it went. Tonight, authorities are calling it an act of terrorism, and a manhunt is underway for the driver. At least two people were arrested, but police say neither was behind the wheel. ISIS is now claiming responsibility, saying it was carried out by one of its soldiers, but it offered no evidence. But it is only the latest example of the group's supporters using vehicles as weapons. In Nice, where a truck mowed down dozens. In Berlin, crashing through a Christmas market. And in London, where attackers drove across London Bridge and then jumped out with knives. The use of vehicles is now the low-tech, high-impact option for terrorists. It's demonstrated value uh, in jihadi circles. Spanish investigators are looking at this as part of a wider plot. They say it's related to an explosion in a house in Spain yesterday. U.S. officials tell NBC News that house may have been a bomb factory. So what happened today doesn't look like it was the work of some lone actor with a van. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.